all of us probably are gifted. Some of us got too many gifts, like me. I could play piano very well. I have a degree in music. I am an artist. I have a degree in art. I paint. I sculpt. I am a writer. I am a television host. I am a father. I am a husband. I am a speaker. I am a consultant. I'm a teacher. I'm an administrator. And I'm a businessman. I'm an investor. All these different things I do. So what do you do when you have more than one gift? Write this down. First, you choose one. Choose the one that gives you the most passion. And then put all your energies into that one. You will find naturally all your other gifts will find their way into that one gift. And it will become a complement to the gift. And that's how you deal with all these ideas you have. You got to choose one that you are most passionate about and begin to put it on paper with a plan, a strategy, an idea. A lot of people look at me, people like me and others like us, like me, and they say, boy, I'd I like, I like to do what you're doing. You know, you get 800, 900 invitations to travel around the world every year. A thousand venues want you to come. They pay you, you know, $50,000 an hour. You know, and, and I get paid that. U.S. dollars, I get paid $50,000 a day to do stuff. And people say, I want to be that way. This is a result. This is not a gift. It took me 30 years to get to that. But here's what you do. Here's how I started. And you must start the same way. First, your gift will make room for you in the world. What did I say? Your gift, not your education. Your gift. Your gift is the natural talent that God gave each human in certain areas. You have a gift. When you discover your gift, and your gift might be communication. Your gift might be, you know, teaching or consulting or speaking like I am. It, maybe that's your gift. What do you do with that gift first? First of all, you don't ask people to pay you to use it. Because your gift is not refined yet. Stop asking for money. What you want first is opportunity to use your gift freely. Give it away free first. So go to your church and ask your pastor, Pastor, can I please teach the children's church? Why? I want to practice using my gift. And if you use it on children, they ain't going to know when you make a mistake. <laughs> so use them to refine your gift. And then two years later, come and say, Pastor, I want to work in the youth department. Why? I want to try to communicate with the oldest kids now. And I want to stay there for two years. And you work free. And you exercise your gift. And let them young people pull that stuff out of you. And you got to study with subjects and content. And get substance for your master, for, for, your, for, for your, your information. You read books and you read books. How do you think I became so good? I have a good memory. You get that next week. Anyhow. In other words, you need to get content first and then practice on people. And then when you finish with the youth, then volunteer say, I'd like to work with the young college group, Pastor. Two years, I'm going to work with a young college group. And you put a college group together and you all do sessions and you teach them and you talk about business and talk about investments and stuff like that. You are learning while you're growing, learning, you're learning while you're teaching. You're becoming valuable you know what happens afterwards when God is satisfied that you have planted enough seeds and you've given enough time and you've refined your gift enough you know what God does he places you in an environment and there's someone in the crowd that he brings that night only one person it takes to change your life and that one person happened to be there while you were speaking free and they say wow this is how it works and they'll come to you and says I like what you said tonight I have a TV show I want you to come and talk on my TV show and you absolutely say what yes sir <laughs> in other words God will not expose you until you are refined so write this down please success if you want to be a success in any area, including public speaking, consulting, communication, 
business, anything. If you want to be successful, never seek success. Seek to become a person of value. I repeat, if you want to be successful in life, young woman, young man, stop seeking success. Seek to become a person of value. How do you become a person of value? First, you become significant. How do you become significant? You become unique. How do you become unique? You make yourself rare. How do you become rare? You develop a gift that cannot be found anywhere else. There's something you were born to do that no one else can do, the way you can do it. So you have to become competent in one area. There are other areas you can learn from, but you must become good in one area. Be known for something. Most people are failures because uh, they are general practitioners. They can do everything and they specialize in nothing. Find something, work on it.